Now another way of formatting pivot tables to make them look good is to apply some conditional formatting and I'm going to tell you how in this video. As always you can download the workbook to go along with this video by clicking the link in the description. I just want to show how you go about applying conditional formatting to pivot tables because one of the things that can go wrong straight away is it starts applying conditional formatting to subtotals and what really matters is where you start when you apply the conditional formatting so which cell is highlighted so for example if i just happen to be on one of the subtotals and i go to home conditional formatting and let's just keep it simple for the moment i'm going to apply some kind of color grading and i hit that now, that will just do that one cell as things stand. But you'll see next to it, you get this little icon here. And if you click down on here, you can apply formatting to, for example, all cells showing sum of sales. Now, if you do that, you'll see that it includes the grand total. So the green number is obviously the grand total of everything. It makes everything else look look quite bad you, you can't really tell what's going on for a tool for example within office supplies everything looks pretty bad so you could try for example that and then that one will just give you values for just the subtotals which can be useful because it's straight away highlighting actually the one we were on delivery truck furniture is the highest and the lowest is office supplies by delivery truck so that's not bad either. Um, it's a bit annoying that you get uh, this button seems to be disappearing all the time. But yeah, anyway, yeah, by refreshing it, you get rid of that. So that's one way you could do it. Now we could go back in here and manage the rules. And if you go and edit the rules, you'll see you get back to those areas here. So again, if we do that, and apply it that's how we got to that once that button's gone you see we've got to do it all the hard way we've got to go through manage rules go in here edit the rule back to that okay apply now I'm just going to delete that rule completely now so we can start again now if I am on a normal number of any sort in here for example and I do conditional formatting and this time I apply those then now when I do on this that one again applies it to all as it did before but this one then excludes any totals so this goes as a genuine color grading like a heat map of sales of purely actual product sales and delivery methods which is much more likely to be what we're going after in the first place so absolutely key, you pick on the right thing before you start adding your conditional format. And just know that whilst this button is highlighted, it's kind of useful because you can switch it around, get it looking like what you want. But as soon as you refresh the data, the button disappears and you will have to go back to here, manage your rules or clear them, for example, manage the rules. Um, click on it, edit the rule, and there you go. And that applies to any kind of conditional formatting. So if we cancel that and delete that rule, sorry, okay, it might be something simple. If I, I'm just going to swap this out for profit. Imagine we might just want to show losses in red. So again, on the home menu, conditional formatting, and we'll do one from scratch, new rule from scratch. Um, we can pick only ones that contain and then the cell value less than zero and let's just pick we're going to fill it with red and a white font so we'll have it looking like that now that's done nothing as you can see and the reason for that is but we just put it on the selected cell. So if I was to do that, just okay that, 
and apply it. You'll see we've now included the grand total, same as before. We perhaps don't want that. Go back to conditional formatting, manage the rules again, edit the rule, this one, this option down there, hit OK, apply that. I'm sorry, that is now applied. <laughs> That's only now applied to that. And again, the reason is that we started off on B10. If we move that to there and hit OK and apply, you can see we're now highlighting losses just within our basic data. So something like that to highlight loss making activities could be quite a nice report and a good way of using conditional formatting. Don't forget you can download the spreadsheet by clicking on the link in the description. You can work for all of this or just have ready-made examples because I put in the end and the start scenes within that spreadsheet. You've been watching Up for Excel, where we aim to get your Excel skills up and your task times down. See you soon.